tutorial to open python gui today we will learn how to print the uh, strings there are different ways there are several ways but we will follow with the standard way so first we will go with the first example print uh, indentation is very much required in python because spaces and uh, where the spaces should be inserted and the uh, the where the spaces to be inserted are excluded it is very much important uh, in in case of other uh, c c++ languages the spaces it does not matter that much but in case of python it matters a lot so this is a standard um, syntax of uh, printing a string or printing a text to the screen there are several different other ways in which you can uh, you can output the string to the screen uh, but since it is a standard way we will follow this in the print no space is required open brace close brace within that uh, you are including two double quotes one is opening opening the open in order to open the string like it should indicate the start of the string and another double quote indicates the end of the string inside this whatever the string you wanted to print you can print for example in this I want to print welcome home so this is the content if I execute this statement so it's going to print welcome home whatever inside the double quote it is going to output the same if we don't want to input the content of uh, the string but we wanted to output the result of uh, the extraction for example inside the print so same thing and the same syntax 30 uh, 31 okay whatever it might be 31 plus 1 so what should uh, it should give uh, some of you might think it should give 31 plus 1 uh, it should be 32 oh what's happening 31 plus 1 it's uh, printing as it is 31 plus 1 why because whatever inside the double code it will be displayed as it is so if you want to get the result of 31 plus 1 as 32 what you should do is you should omit those double quotes 31 plus 1 mm. execute this now you are going to get 31 plus 1 32 you got the output this is about uh, the single item or whatever the multiple items the print can have multiple items inside the print statement uh, print uh, if you want to execute the multiple items so you can do hi and comma hello so you wanted to include multiple items inside the print so there are two items one is hi and another one is hello so what is the output of this okay you're getting two one is hi and another one is hello so the multiple one item is hi and another item is hello these two items should be separated by comma and uh, uh, and in the same way as i said there's many ways in you in which you can execute the multiple items in the string in in case of python but uh, according to the standards uh, we will method uh, we will follow a standard method so uh, here I am explaining the standard method I am not confusing you guys with the different methods uh, so we are just following the standard method over here and uh, so I'll give one more example so here sum is one is uh, the text just as text and here one more is the mathematical expression one plus two uh, what might be the output see uh, here there are two items one is sum is that is a string and another one is one plus two it is a math functions or a number so these two are separated by a comma there are multiple items uh, inside the print statement so one will uh, what we are expecting the output is sum is three so oh we got the output sum is three so this is about the print uh, printing a text into the screen in python it's very easy and compared to other languages it's very 
easy uh, like for it might be C or C++ so how it goes and moving forward to escape codes uh, you might have heard of uh, escape codes or oh, what are these escape codes slash and what are these uh, you know about this slash and uh, it will go to the next line what are the other uh, uh, escape codes uh, you know backslash t you know so w what it will do uh, it will uh, move four spaces forward and then uh, there's uh, many other uh, uh, this is carriage return and uh, and one oh, and uh, those are also there that is uh, single code this is one one extra in python and another one uh, escape code is uh, the backslash and double quote uh, these are uh, we will go one by one from now on so sprint uh, so we will write some contents inside this uh, okay please uh, like my video so this is uh, this is the con content inside uh, uh, inside the print statement so we are uh, using uh, next line or escape code first we will go with the uh, next line escape code so slash and it so going to the next line and I want it in one more line like in another uh, line and my in another line okay we will execute this okay oh, oh, it doing it is going and it is executing please like my video so so after please have given a slash and it will goes to the next line and after like uh, there is a space because of that you got a space between please and like because uh, how you are going to give the space in that way it is exactly coming so like and then my and same thing is happening so so I will take uh, what I'm doing if you want to copy the same uh, print please uh, like my video one more time just uh, go to the cursor move move up so move down move up and take the print press enter you will get that line so what I'm doing here is instead of uh, slash and I'm replacing it with T backslash T what it will do so it will give false spaces between the words so instead of going to the next line it is taking a gap of uh, four spaces now let's see it's better to show it so so how many spaces one two three four four so slash t it indicates uh, four spaces uh, this is about the uh, slash n and slash t and other two I wanted to show is uh, let's take the same example instead of uh, this one I am replacing it with a uh, single quote so what I want to do is uh, I want a single quote there that's all so single quote it, it's not going to do anything so it's just going to print out the single quote over there so please uh, I got a single quote and then I got a single quote then because I wanted a single quote sometimes uh, there will be a f uh, few sentences in which a uh, single quote is required he is a nice guy he is nice guy so sometimes we need a single quote at that time without uh, the slash you are not going to get the quote so it's very much required and one more thing is uh, so print so what I'm going to give is double quote. I will show what is the importance of the, this double quote. So I wanted to have a double quote. So in this, please, uh, I need a double quote over there, like my video, something like that. And this, what happens? It will uh, starting double quote. It will consider it as uh, what is this? Uh, CG, okay, this is a double quote. Yep. So starting double quote, it will consider it as a. You can see the change in the color because it indicates start and end. And if I execute this, what it will do? It is going to throw an error. Yeah, of course it sends it as error. So what I will do is, so this is where the slash is required. So this is the backslash. Then it will state and this one. So it is a start of the string and it is going to indicate 
end of the string and here the double quote the sentences requires double quote inside so it's going to output like this please and this double quote like my video uh, these are all about the uh, escape codes um, uh, this is uh, pretty much about it um, so as I said um, now today we are going to learn the print we learn pretty much about it uh, I will see you guys in the next tutorial please make sure you subscribe my videos bye bye